Do you want to learn about bipolar disorder? I have compiled a list of 14 high-yield facts so you can ace your upcoming test or boards. Ready? Let's learn psych fast. Fact 1 is for bipolar type 1. Select this disorder when at least 4 of 7 dig fast symptoms present for at least 1 week with mania. Don't worry, I'll come back to explain what dig fast stands for. Fact 2. That's for bipolar 2, which is hypomanic episodes with only 3 of 7 dig fast symptoms that last for only 4 days without manic or psychosis. So, only 3 of 4 without mania. Fact 3. Know what dig fast stands for. And actually think of celebrities. They'll help you with it. D is for being distracted by such minor stimuli that they have difficulty distinguishing between relevant and irrelevant thoughts. I for impulsivity or indiscretion. That's partaking in reckless behavior such as sexual indiscretions, substance abuse, gambling, crazy shopping sprees, bad financial decisions, all those things without even thinking about the consequences. G is for grandiosity. They have an inflated self-esteem that makes them believe that they have special powers and abilities or they've been commissioned to complete a special project. F is for flight of ideas and racing thoughts. They'll shoot out all these random thoughts and concepts that really don't make sense to others. A is for activity. Their activities increase so much so that they'll spend all night and day working on a complex manuscript or they'll start a business on a whim. S is for sleep problem. It's not really a sleep deficit because... They can't sleep, but instead it's a deficit because they don't need to sleep. They'll stay up for days. T is for talkative, but it's way more than usual. It's pressured speech. It's with urgency. It's rapid, loud, and it's very challenging to interrupt them. Fact 4 represents the 4 or 7 dig fast symptoms lasting for 7 days. So it's a manic episode. And if it's a manic episode, what did Fact 1 tell us? It's bipolar 1. Don't miss this simple question on the test. Fact 5 is about bipolar 2 having milder hypomania episodes which can last longer and can be even more severe than a bipolar 1 disorder. So bipolar 2 isn't just a milder form of bipolar 1. Fact 6. Cyclothymia. Why will this be on your tests but not in your office? First, no, it's two mild states. Mild mania, a.k.a. hypomania with three of seven dig fast symptoms for four days and mild depression, a.k.a. dysthymia with two or four ciggy cap symptoms. It's often misdiagnosed as major depressive disorder due to this. Symptoms must persist for two years of milder lows and milder highs. But if cycling occurs four times within a 12-month period, then it's known as rapid cycling. Fact 7. SSRIs can trigger a manic episode, so never, ever give an SSRI alone to a patient that's manic or a patient that has bipolar. Fact 8 will help you if you get a milieu question. Actually, you're going to get a milieu question, so here are some random facts. In a manic cycle, we need to reduce stimulation, and if there is a test question about that, it's often related to them needing to be in a private room near the nurse's station so we can keep an eye on them. Also, we limit group contact. We don't want them eating with others or participating in group therapy or group activities in that manic phase. Instead, it's always one-on-one -on -one activities, but we want to provide episodes of aerobic exercise. What they need at this phase on the milieu is a structured schedule, clothes chosen, schedule pre-planned, no swearing, no breaking of objects. If these rules are broken, they need to stay in their room. Fact 9. Epidemiology facts to know. There's a bunch available for your teacher to choose from for the test, so I hope these nine stats will help you. The prevalence is 0.5% to 1% in the U.S. affected men and women equally. 21 to 54% of women with postpartum depression have bipolar disorder. 69% have been misdiagnosed, often as unipolar depression. About 35% of patients were symptomatic for greater than 10 years before being accurately diagnosed, with women significantly more likely than men to be misdiagnosed. 50% have made at least one SI attempt in their left time. 10 to 15% of those untreated for bipolar disorder will unfortunately pass by SI. 20% of people with BP have rapid cycling. 90% of rapid cyclers are women. Rapid cyclers have poor prognosis. Fact 10. Know the risk factors. Genetic components. Family history of a first-order relative with bipolar disorder, unipolar disorder, and or alcoholism. Fact 11. 
onset. Average age of onset is 21 years in men and women equally, spending about 50% of their lifetime in some form of abnormal mood, with being depressed half the time, hypomania one-tenth of the time, cycling 5% of the time, and have this hallmark manic phase commonly thought of with bipolar only occurring 1% of the time of their life, but high level of concern at this time for risk for harm to themselves, and it's at greatest risk for engaging in drug abuse, sexual acts, or reckless driving. Fact 12. There's a mini mental assessment. Take a screenshot right now and learn it. Fact 13. Treat with mood stabilizers such as lithium, valproic acid, carpanzapine, olanzapine, and risperidone. This is a big topic, so check out my other video on bipolar treatment. Just know that lithium is a mood stabilizer, but valproic acid and carpanzapine are actually anti-elliptic drugs that are used as mood stabilizers. Olanzapine and risperidone, those are atypical second-generation antipsychotics that are used here as a mood stabilizer. Fact 14. Really know the meds. Typically, two-thirds of the questions teachers love to ask about bipolar disorder are related to the pharmaceutical and non-pharmaceutical treatment protocols. So click on this video right here to learn about these treatment protocols. And when you're all you're done with that one, click on this one on the bottom right to take a practice test. Good luck.